In this Electu tutorial, I will demonstrate how to do a mass upload of students using a CSV file. First, log in as the site administrator. Step two, go to settings. Step three, we're going to verify some um, import settings. So a couple things you probably want to change here. Uh, for example, the header row by default, it can't remain there on the spreadsheet, meaning that you would have to delete the header row prior to uploading. I would simply change this to yes. That way you can leave the header row fields. Step two then would be to go down here to where it says fields for import. And you can deselect certain fields that you don't wish to input. So for example, uh, I'm going to remove uh, some of these unnecessary items. But I am going to leave the group checked. That way, when I upload the spreadsheet, it'll automatically put the students that I uh, enroll into the appropriate group. So I got my header row saved as yes. Deleted what fields I no longer want. Hit OK. And now when I go to my student tab up here at the top, I click this plus button. And here it shows me how I have to set up my spreadsheet. So this would be the header row, uh, column A, username, caller, column B, first name, last name, email, group, password, etc. Uh, so here's what your CSV spreadsheet should look like. Notice how my columns match the order here. And then you simply either copy paste from your gradebook roster or type in the username. So for example, I'm going to put a username Bob1, first name Bob Smith, email group. So if, if the group already exists on the site, I would want to type that in exactly the same. Or if I have a new group, I'm just going to put class A here. And then a password. Passwords have to be at least six characters, but they can be set to all the same for all your students. So I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to add another student here. We'll go uh, Sam1. And I'm going to put this student in class A as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's kind of how you do it. And just make sure that if you're going to reuse the class that you have this spelling uh, exact. If I should put class A here with a lowercase, it's going to create a new group. So these would, because they're spelled differently, that would be two groups instead of one. All right. So there we got my, the data is, is in the spreadsheet. Now I'm going to save this document as a, as a CSV. So I'm going to go up here to File, Save As. And I'm going to call this Student Enrollment Class A. I'm going to save that to my desktop as a comma separated value. Okay, so the spreadsheet is saved on my desktop. I'm going to close it, close it down. And now I'm going to enroll the two new students. I'm going to click the upload button. It's then going to go to my, my desktops. And here is my recent file from today, student enrollment class A. Double click that. and it, enroll, it uh, uploads the document. I hit add. Two students imported. So now when I log in as the instructor, we see here we have a new group called Class A with the two students that I just enrolled using the spreadsheet. 